Hello, and welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam. If you enjoy bullet journaling as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay connected. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a cute little pop-out key for your bullet journal. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is look for a background image for your key card. I just typed in vintage ephemera into a Bing search and then I got a whole bunch of these little old-fashioned cards and ephemera and stuff like that. And you can put it on pretty much anything, um, like this hotel receipt, you could put it on there. I liked to look for cards that were already empty. So like these ones here, they just had a pattern on the background, but there was room to write words. I ended up going with this one here. I took the crown picture off of this set. So I just saved this to my computer. And then you can get a seven day free fr free trial of Photoshop. So that's what I'm using here. You just crop out the image that you want to use for your card. And then with the text button, you're going to write key at the top of the page. And I go into the color blending options and I give it this little ombre effect that makes it look like it's part of the page. And you go back through and type in tasks, started, completed, migrated, canceled, and whatever else you want to put on here. You can also just print this out like it is with the key at the top and write them in yourself. But I liked typing them in and then going back later and adding the corresponding icons. Once you've finished editing your key, you can save it as a JPEG. Make sure you change the Photoshop option to a JPEG um, or you won't be able to find it again. And you can only open it with Photoshop. And then you're going to print it out and then you'll need some glue, some distress ink if you have some, optional lighter, and then of course some scissors to cut out your image. So I'm just going to cut this out real quick. This is what my first one looked like, so I'm just going to copy the symbols over to the one that I'm making now. And then to age it a little bit, I'm just going to crumple it up. And then you can glue it down to the back of another card so that it's not all crumply over the whole thing. And then cut it out again. Then I'm going to take my black distress ink and go around the edges of the paper to give it a burned look. And then I'm going to take the brown and go over the top and give it a little bit more of a older look. And then you can go in with your lighter and actually burn the edges if you'd like to. I wouldn't do this without adult supervision unless you are an adult, and if so, I would take it outside. Don't, don't do this at home, kids. Don't try this at home, kids. I went through and burned the rest of the image off camera because it did take a little bit longer because it's two sheets of cardstock together. This first one that I did was just a regular paper over cardstock, so it worked a little bit better. I didn't mean to print this out on cardstock, it just kind of printed on cardstock, so. 
and then you can take your key and insert it in this little pocket which I didn't make on camera but I will leave a link in the description below of where you can find this little pocket template and cut it out yourself. But that about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. If you happen to make any recreations of this, you can tag me on Instagram. My information can be found in the description. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I post bullet journal videos twice a week. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!